Four walls, a ceiling, and a floor are usually the starting point for what someone looks for when moving house. Throw in a couple good sized bedrooms, a bathroom or two, a kitchen, and a living room and we're all set. But what if that wasn't enough? What if you were more concerned about the exteriors of your property rather than the interiors? Today we're showing you 10 of the most impressive properties around that have been created with other priorities in mind, like privacy and safety. These houses might be impressive on the outside, but we don't know what half of them look like on the inside. Do they even have internet or television? Before we start, click subscribe so you can make the most of all the features of your own house like internet connection, and then you can enjoy our videos as a result. Kelder Turf House Based in the south of Iceland, Kelder Turf House is one of the few turf houses remaining in the country. This house is thought to be the oldest of them all, and it forms part of Kelder Farm, whose inhabitants can be dated back to around the year 974. The house itself is typically Icelandic, and belonged to one of the most powerful clans in the country back in the 12th and 13th century. You might be wondering how the house and surrounding areas have survived for so many years, and the secret is that they've been partially reconstructed many times throughout the last thousand years. Various elements of the house has been rebuilt, but the overall image and design has been maintained. Kelder Turf House could easily be missed if you were looking for it, because its entire roof and sides are covered with grass. This means the only way to get in is through the front door, meaning you wouldn't have to expect any unwanted guests creeping through your back door, because there isn't one. It's also a pretty eco-friendly house as houses go. The grass works as insulation, and parts of the house were actually made using driftwood as well as lava rocks from the nearby Mount Hecla. Australia's Cliff House as amazing as we think this house is, it's definitely not built for anyone with a fear of heights or water. But if you're safety conscious and scared of burglars, it could be the perfect house for you. Based on the design of the way a barnacle falls, it's tiered downwards to support the entire weight properly. Approaching the cliff house, you could be convinced that it's tiny. Out of five floors, only the top layer can be seen above ground, and you'd have to bend over the cliff edge to spy the other four layers dangling below. That's right, only a fifth of this house is actually connected to the rocks, and the rest of it relies heavily on although not too heavily, we hope, on the support from the top layer. Scary stuff. The house was built to face demands from Australian citizens who struggle to find rooms for big houses that are near the sea, yet still of good size. Obviously, the house is the perfect combination, except for the constant fear of dropping a good few meters into the ocean. Its design work is incredible, and we're sure it gives some good views while you're enjoying your breakfast, but it might make you think twice about buying a new three-piece suit for fear of weighing it down too much. The Ark Hotel. If an architect was given the job of finding the most futuristic hotel with natural disaster protection and good looks, this would surely be the one that would come to mind. The Ark Hotel in China was built with earthquake and tornado protection, and to top it all off, it's also based in the sea. Yes, you heard that right. This floating hotel features everything from eco gardens to fully sized bedrooms and all of the other hotel features you could possibly want. And it's entirely off land. Perhaps another one to avoid if you're scared of the ocean, but you could easily forget you're out at sea once you make it into the hotel, because its architecture means you should barely even be aware of your surroundings once you're inside. We wouldn't call this hotel especially hidden, or at least not the top portion, but once you go down a few floors, it's a whole other story, because the bottom half of the hotel is completely underwater. Because who doesn't fancy a bit of scuba diving with lunch? It might not be something you've considered before when choosing a holiday destination, but the sea might be your best bet if you're worried about flooding. The way the Ark Hotel has been designed means it's the perfect getaway if a NOAA-style attack is looking likely. Vivos Europa 1 Elite Shelter this ex-Soviet bunker in Germany was once built to house military equipment and munitions, before the government realized it wasn't actually that safe to store dangerous things of this level right next door to a major highway. A good decision, we think, although we're not too sure if their alternate plan is any more useful. When the government decided that they'd have to find a new use for the huge block, they decided to auction it off. It was bought entirely by a billionaire who decided to create the world's most expensive shelter. And shelter it does, because this bunker will protect you from almost every single type of problem in the world. We're talking airplane crashes, biological or chemical attacks, nuclear blasts or even shockwaves, electromagnetic pulses, and earthquakes. There are three entries, which means it's easier to access than some of our hidden houses. But it's not just getting through the door that'll cause you a problem here. Once the initial door has been opened, a huge 40-ton hydraulic truck with steel rods will let you through, and a second set of steel doors will guide you into the actual bunker. And once you're inside, there's no getting out, because these doors are so thick, they don't even let external gas inside. This is great for protecting you from chemical gas intrusion, but maybe not so good if you want a breath of fresh air. We guess there's a price to pay for staying in the safest place in the world. Casa Brutale 
As the name would suggest, this is not the house for the faint-hearted. Situated right on the edge of the cliff, it's definitely one way to say you're living life on the edge. The house was designed in typical brutalist style, but it features not so traditional things like a glass bottom swimming pool. Again, this is perfect if you fancy a view while getting your daily exercise, but not so much if you don't like the water. You might not be so surprised to hear that it took a while to find a buyer for this property. Not that we wouldn't jump at the chance of spending a night or two here, but it's certainly different to any other hotel we've ever stayed in. A fun fact about this house is that it wasn't dreamed up by a young architect with visions of creating his ideal property, nor was it commissioned by someone with goals of living cliffside. In actual fact, the designer of the property wanted to build something that would go viral. It certainly paid off, and the house got a lot of media attention, but surely it's less effort and far cheaper just to post a funny meme on the internet than it is to build an entire cliffside property. Each to their own, we guess. Mirage House if you ever dreamed of living on a giant helicopter pad, then Mirage House in Greece is the place for you. We're kind of joking because the top of the house, and the only visible part, is actually an infinity pool rather than a place for small planes to land, but you could easily mistake it for one. The house was essentially designed for antisocial people, or as the designers call it, for those who would like to keep their privacy. We would just like to buy a thicker pair of curtains if we wanted more privacy, but some people have more money than sense, we suppose. The Mirage House is based on Tinos Island in Greece, while the rest of it is known for its picturesque villages, the Mirage House looks like it wants to do the absolute opposite. It might be difficult to spot for the untrained eye, but it's certainly no small pastel-colored house like those dotted nearby. As previously mentioned, the only visible part of the property is the pool, which was cleverly built to look like it's actually part of the sea. The rest of the house is built into the rocks, making it incredibly difficult to break into. Put it this way, we wouldn't want to lose our keys living at the Mirage House, because we'd be stuck with only the pool for comfort and no other way to get inside. Eco House. If you were to visit the Eco House in Bolton, England, you would want some pretty good directions first. It's located on grasslands between Bolton and Bury in the north of England and is surrounded by, well, nothing. Sure, it's a great house if you've previously been bothered by noisy neighbors, but we wonder if maybe retired footballer Gary Neville, who owns the property, ever gets a bit lonely. Who does he turn to when he's out of sugar? The house was designed in the shape of a flower with five petals and a separate exit leading to the nearest main road. The kitchen was built in the center of the petals, with each one having a different use from bedrooms to a swimming pool. It was actually going to be extended with more eco-friendly features like a wind turbine, but planning permission was refused by the local government who decided that a huge wind turbine in the middle of the grass might spoil the views a bit. Instead, Gary decided to scrap the turbine in order to build an underground ecosystem to power the house using natural resources. He aims for it to become the greenest house in the whole of England, and considering its surroundings, we'd put it up there with the best already. The Brick House Although you'd definitely spot the brick house from a mile away, you'd never guess that it was, in fact, an actual house. Because from far away, the property looks like nothing more than its namesake, a pile of bricks. With a couple of floor to ceiling windows dotted around, and not much else, it's definitely one house you'd have to look around inside to see the full benefits. This is definitely one of the most secure houses on our list, because unless you're prepared to dig underneath or break open one of the thick glass windows, the only way inside is through layers of brick. Sure, this might be typical for any house, but this one in particular is reinforced and is not one you'd want to tackle. For a start, instead of plaster, the walls are completed with thick concrete, not something you'd want to accidentally bang your head on. Stone and more concrete make up the rest of the house, making it pretty secure if anyone did attempt to get inside. From far away, the house could even appear to be just two giant bricks, one placed on top of the other. The Belgium-based property is certainly a talking point for its nearby neighbors and has impressive views to match. Mountain Cliff Hotel it's been called the most terrifying hotel in the world, and it might be scary to spend a night at the Mountain Cliff Hotel, but it's definitely one you can show off to your friends about afterwards, even if you do spend the entire night worrying about your safety. Based in Peru, guests can enjoy the surrounding views and natural beauty before climbing up the rock face to enjoy a good night's sleep inside one of the many pods that jut off the side of the mountain. Luckily, the climbing route has been created with beginners in mind, meaning that almost anyone can spend a night at the hotel, even if they've got no climbing experience whatsoever. As the name suggests, the hotel is pretty high up, and guests must be prepared to scale upwards before they can enter the individual pods. It may be high, but it's definitely a great choice for making sure you can sleep without interruptions, and we bet their burglary count is pretty low too. There are only a small number of pods at the hotel, which means you'd have to know exactly where to look in order to locate this hidden beauty. But we bet it pays off, and watching the sunrise from here must be unlike anything else in the world. Katima House 
The point of this house was to create a house that didn't look like a house, and instead faded into the background. In short, the architect did not want to disturb the surrounding beauty of the area, and wanted to challenge himself to make the house almost disappear. Well, it didn't quite vanish into nothing, or we wouldn't be telling you about it now. But it did almost do the job, and the white-walled Katima house in Greece does a great job of complementing the landscape instead of showing off. It's about as far from our previous viral house as we could imagine. Before the house was built, there were existing walls in place. Rather than knocking those down, the creators decided to use them as the foundations for the rest of the house. The walls are surrounded by the sea on one side and miles of land on the other. It's pretty secluded from any other property, making it the perfect location for a family who keep to themselves. Not only is it hidden away from nearby civilization, but it's also very eco-friendly and has an entirely green roof, which is used to generate energy. It's built into the hill, which preserves energy and also uses low energy facilities. Next time you move house, you'll almost definitely start looking out for these features. But unless you're lucky enough to live near a cliff top or in the middle of the sea, you might have to keep watching our videos for your fix of cool houses. We hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to the hub before you go so you don't miss out on our other great videos. See you next time.